sailing the seven seas, there is a seafaring pirate, a captain of his ship and ruler of all that is seen from the crow's nest. No ship and no flag is safe from the wrath of Poseidon he brings as cannons claim their treasures as his own. He drinks his weight in rum and can still steer his ship straight. His man of war flying the Sasquatch flag is an unwelcome sight for all. As there is no outrunning nor outgunning, the natural soaps revenge. He is a swashbuckling pirate feared by all, and his name is Bayram. Yeah, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Dr. Squatch Soap Guides. Today we have the Bay Rum, a bar as intoxicating as it sounds. This is a sweet Caribbean spiced brick. That scent will leave you feeling like a drunken sailor. Now the Bay Rum is one of Squatch's most beloved scents, and it's easy to smell why. But as with any good brick, there's much more to it than just its scent. I think this bar is also the most affected by Squatch's more recent additions to mainstays. And well, you'll see how this pirate brick holds up. There isn't much to say in terms of this bar's description. When you first pick it up, you'll be greeted to its pleasing scent, but that's about it. Its highlighted ingredient is coconut oil, which of course is great for your skin, but its spotlight here can be a bit misleading, as coconut oil is a staple ingredient in literally every Squatch bar along with olive and sustainable palm saponified oils. In fact, on the old Squatch packaging, shea butter was the highlighted ingredient, which is another staple in every soap. So all that is to say that the Bay Rum has no unique or standout ingredients. It's basically a bare bones Squatch bar. There is no rum, there are no actual spices, and there's no exfoliation. The only thing noteworthy here in regards to its place amongst Squatch bars is the natural fragrance in it, as its scent is basically where this bar makes its name. Speaking of that, this bar has a somewhat strong smell. It's not one of the more potent bars, unfortunately, which you'd like to see from a scent-based brick, but it is there. Thankfully, the Bay Rum does treat you to one of Squatch's better overall scents. It's the sweet smell of Caribbean spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. It's like transforming your shower into a tropical island. Like that time Jack Sparrow was deserted on that island with only a bunker full of rum. But while you may be feeling like Captain Jack Sparrow, you won't be nearly as dirty. The Bay Rum is a smooth bar, almost like butter. There is of course no exfoliation and really no unique ingredients. Basically your standard Squatch wash. It's a much better clean than anything mainstream soap companies offer, but not as good as just about any other Squatch bar with more unique properties. Now as for my thoughts, I think the Bay Rum has almost lost its place in the Squatch lineup. As I've been saying, there's really nothing that separates the bar besides its scent. Which is great, mind you, but with the more recent additions of Wood Barrel Bourbon, Fresh Falls, and Birchwood Breeze, all of which I feel are objectively better bars and have scents at least on par with, if not better than the Bay Rum, it's really hurt its identity. Once upon a time, Bay Rum was the best scent Squatch had in many people's eyes. Remember, this was the only candle flavor offered for a while but it has sort of fallen from grace. The Bay Rum scent is still one of the best, but as with every natural bar, you'll really only smell it in the shower. And if you like that smell, why not instead go for the flavor's other products, such as the deodorant, which you'll actually notice throughout the day. In fact, I would say something like the candle or the deodorant does the flavor much more justice than the actual soap and are great in their respective categories. Overall, I think the Bay Rum is quite I meaning that it's a good bar, but not great. It's just missing that X factor and has sort of been overshadowed recently. But it's still an amazing smell, and if you don't like any sort of grit with your brick, this may actually be the one for you. That's of course just my opinion, and I'd like to hear yours in the comments. Do you agree with my assessment on the Bay Rum, or do you think I'm wrong? Regardless, one can't help but feel like a pirate at the helm of his ship with this bar, with a bottle of rum in hand, and a spyglass in the other, through which a beautiful tropical island is waiting.